Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So in last video we have seen how we can create our Spring Boot application and how we can create a REST API for the Hello World. Okay, so in this video we are going to create an employee uh, class and we will try to create REST APIs to get the employee details. Okay, so let's start with the video. In same project we will continue. So in uh, in our package let's create one more class employee so this will be our uh, model class so here i am writing int employee id then string name of the employee then float salary and uh, then string mail email okay so now let's create all this should be private So now let's create uh, the constructor for all this field. So just we have to right click here and uh, go to this source and here we have the option generate constructor using field. So just we have to uh, use that option and click on the generate. It will generate a constructor with fields for us. Okay. Now let's create one default constructor as well and after that let's create the getter and setter for each and every field okay source and generate getter and setter we have to select all of this and click on the generate okay so now we have created the employee class and we have created the getter setters for all the fields also we have created the constructor okay so now let's create one controller employee controller so here employee controller in this controller we are going to write the rest api to get the employees okay so for this first let's annotate this with the rest controller annotation yeah and now here we are going to write the method so here the method will be public we are going to get the employee so return type will be employee okay now we have to import this employee class as well so public employee and the method name will be get employee okay so now here we have to return new employee okay so here we will return uh, we will return the instance of the employee so how we can return the instance return new then employee and here we have to pass the parameters like the employee id will be 101 101 then the name of the employee we will keep as a sheetal and the salary for the employee we will keep 34,000 and at last the mail okay so sheetal at the rate gmail.com okay so here we have written new employee okay so here we have written new employee now we have to annotate this method with get mapping annotation okay and here we will provide the url as get emp okay now just i am saving this and now it, if we run this application and check for the local host 8080 get emp that time we should able to see this details okay so now let's save this program and restart the application so application is restarting now here
yeah so it is uh, restarted successfully now let's open our postman and here we have to change the url to get emp okay and it should be get so now let's uh, enter and here you can able to see the details which we have written there in the get employee method okay so id is 101 name is sheetal salary 34000 and the email we have written sheetal at the rate gmail.com okay so now our first this um, get emp rest uh, api is working fine okay i hope this is clear to everyone what we did here we have created the employee class okay model class inside that employee class we have taken the fields and we have written the getter setter and constructor for each field after that we have created one employee controller and annotated that controller with at the rate rest controller annotation and inside that controller we have written the method get employee and the return type is employee because we are returning the employee and to return the new instance of the employee we have uh, written like return new employee and here we have passed all the parameters okay and to uh, create the rest api we have used at the rate get mapping annotation and provided the url as get emp and in postman when we are testing we are getting the expected output okay so this way we can create the rest api now let's see how we can uh, return a list of employees okay so here only we will write the method public and here we are going to return the list of employees so the return type should be list and the type should be employee okay so list of employees and here we will uh, write the method name get emp list okay and here we uh, have to return the employee list so first let's create the list list of employee we will give the name as emp list is equal to new here we are going to use array list okay so now we have to import this array list from the java.util package yeah so now here we will add some employees inside this employee list so how we, how we can add emp list dot add and here we have to add the employee okay so here we will write new employee and all the parameter we have to pass here so here we will pass the id as 101 then name we will write here as a Neetu and the salary we will write 56,000 the mail will be Neetu at the rate gmail.com okay so this is our first employee we have added in our employee list now let's add some more employees so just i am copying this thing and let's paste here okay so here we will change the details 101 then here the ram salary will be 96000 and here also we will change the gmail 103 and here we will keep bob the salary will be 90000 and here bob okay now we have the employee list and inside that employee list we have added three employees okay now let's return this employee list so how we can return return this emp list okay so that's it now we have to annotate this method with get mapping annotation and here we will give the url as get 
employees okay E-M-P-L-O-Y-E-S, -E get employees. Now I have saved the program. Now let's restart the application and see for this URL, are we getting this three employee details or not? So I'm restarting the application. Yeah, it is restarting. Yes. So our application is restarted successfully. Now let's open the postman and here we have to change the URL get employees. Okay, so now uh, here we should able to see three employees which we have added in our employee list. Okay, now let's click on this send. Yeah, and we are able to see three employees first one is Neetu then Ram and then Bob okay so this way we can uh, create the rest API to get the employee details and after that to if we want to get the list of employees then we can uh, create the rest APIs this way okay so I hope this is clear to everyone if you find any difficulties while understanding this concept you can mention in the comment section and we will try to resolve that or we will create the video in some other way so that it will be understandable to everyone okay that's it for today's video in tomorrow's video we will see how we can use at the rate path variable and at the rate request param annotations so if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you